In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to the concept of layering in sound design by showcasing this explosion sound I made, looking into the layers that I used for it and why they were used. We're going to delve deep into the specific processing and mixing techniques in the next few tutorials, but in this tutorial, I want to show you some of the individual elements that make up this particular sound. I'm going to start off by showing you the actual sound itself. It's still a work in progress, but I hope you like it. So as you can hear, it's a pretty big explosion sound that you'll hear in something like an action film trailer. And I'm going to break all the individual elements down now. The first folder I want to go over here is this main explosion folder. Now this is what I feel to be the main part of the actual explosion itself. I used ES2 for this, turning off oscillators 1 and 2 and only using oscillator 3 with white noise acting as a noise generator. I increased the release for a slightly longer fade out and I also used the built in hard distortion module which gave it a lot more grit. I also kept the filter open which is on a high drive setting as it gave it a good amount of intensity and brightness to the sound. That sounded like this. So this is simply just a noise generator which kick started this sound off giving it a lot of initial texture. I then applied a clip distortion, slightly filtering the sound and increasing the drive and the gain, which sounded like this. And then I also used a bit crusher, which sounded like this. This gave it a bit of extra drive and grit, which is exactly what I needed. I then applied a limiter to bring up the overall volume level and slightly control it if needed. I then bounced that in place and layered it with this sound here. It's from Logic Sample Library and it's called Miles Away Noise Effects. It's a very simple hi-hat, white noise style percussive layer and it sounds like this. This worked well as a layer with the other white noise sound and it thickens it up nicely. I put N-verb on it, which sounds like this. Slightly pitch shifted it with a lower mix on it for a bit more texture. And then applied another silver verb, so that combined sounds like this. The next layer I'm going to show you is the low punch folder here. It's made up of two sounds. There's one sound effect of a cardboard box being kicked, which I found in my sample library, which sounds like this. There's also a recording here, which I made years ago. I had this trampoline at home and I recorded it dropping onto the floor. It gives a nice attack and mid range thud to the sound. And this is how it sounds. And here's how these two sound together. This now has a good attack. I then added Fat Effects from Logic, which is a multi effects unit and is a great tool for sound design. I use this bass enhancer here to give the sound more weight and boom. A limiter to bring it up to level and make sure it wasn't clipping. After the low punch layer, we go to the low boom layer, and this is where we're covering more of the subsonic frequencies. The low punch layer which I just covered had a lot of attack with some low frequency content but this low boom layer is where all the sub frequencies are covered and where the sound gets a lot of its weight from. The first thing I did here was to create a pitch envelope wave using synthesis. This is a classic technique for these types of explosion sounds and works very well. I've got alchemy loaded and have a sine wave on oscillator A. After clicking on the course tune parameter here it will update on the modulation tab and I can assign a new envelope which in this case is AHDSR2 to this course parameter. I adjusted the depth control so it went from higher to lower in pitch and it sounded like this. I also used this sample from a loop and I chopped up a kick drum from it. Stretch it out a lot so it sounds more granulated and it gave some nice subsonic elements which worked well with the pitch enveloped wave. And here's how these two sounded together for the low boom layer. Thank you. 